Today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna do a trick tutorial video. And for those who don't know, I do have a trick series uh, playlist that really just expounds upon uh, certain tricks and how to do those certain tricks and just tips in general on how to do those cool movements. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link in the description or a link above uh, so you can check that out. But basically what we're gonna to do today is a request that I got a few weeks ago which is to do another trick tutorial video. For this video, what I wanna do is a little bit of an advanced trick. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna do a 180 yaw, and then we're gonna do a Rubik's Cube compounded onto that movement. So it's a combo trick. Um, it's a little bit complicated, but all in all, I'll teach you kind of the fundamentals of the trick. Um, the hard part is a Rubik's Cube, but I did do a video on the Rubik's Cube um, in the past, so I'll leave a link of that trick in the description. I would check that video out before you watch this video. If you don't know how to do the Rubik's Cube, this video is gonna really focus on this combo trick, 180 y'all with the Rubik's Cube, um, and just tips in general on how to make it look really cool. So we'll go through that movement here in a little bit, and hope you guys like this. If you do, give me a like, and see you guys in the next one. Peace. We're gonna start with a 180 yaw. So that's kind of 180 yaw, right? And we'll do that a few times, just get comfortable with it. Um, but let me just show you what the movement is I'm talking about. So here we go. So 180 yaw and a Rubik's Cube out of it. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I could do a little bit cleaner, so let me try. Okay, 180 yaw, we'll just cue, we're out of there. That's essentially it. Um, and there's different methods on how to do it, but I'll just run through kind of what I would do to start to learn this combo. So what, one thing you gotta work on is a 180 yaw, right? That's kind of 180 yaw, uh, and you wanna get some speed going so you kind of accelerate backwards. You have enough momentum to carry you through that line. So here we go. So right, 180 we off. So just keep on doing that a few times and uh, it's a pretty simple movement. So you're gonna have to get used to like the timing aspect. So. Like that was poor timing because I, like you could see that I struggled to have a complete 180 on my yaw. That's one thing you, you could perfect over time. See, that one's pretty good. Okay. So once you get that 180 yaw, what you want to do is add the Rubik's Cube. So 180 yaw, the Rubik's Cube. It looks really cool going out of like gaps like that. Or even like, you could try like, I don't know, smaller gaps, but this is just an easy way to kind of learn this movement. Like that's sick right there. Like that was a complete, uh, the Rubik's Cube and the precision on that, uh, trick at that time was really good so just keep going like that right we're gonna get that 180 down and then just add a rubik's cube again if you want to learn about the rubik's cube i do have a video on that um it's a little bit complicated trick so you can learn how to do that with that video but it looks really cool like let me try to do a clean one Okay, here we go. Like that looks sick. And it's so low to the ground that that's an awesome move to do. So, going back to the trick itself, always start with the 180 yaw. Get that down. You see that momentum I'm carrying through? Carry it through. And then while you're looking back, add the Rubik's Cube. And that's it. That's about, that's that's basically what the trick is. So.
And that is the trick series video. 180 y'all with the Rubik's Cube. It looks really cool. I don't see many people doing that movement. It's it's something that I just like picked over over time. Uh, it looks pretty sick. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and see you guys next one. Peace. Hey, I've been